Hey, I'm Tony Dolce and I just spent the past two weeks traveling Europe with just this red ox bag and all this stuff. How did I do it? Well, I'll show you how. First things first, dress in layers. I have a long sleeve shirt on with another short sleeve shirt, a scarf, jeans, and closed toed shoes. That's for the plane. I'm using a compression bag, rolling my clothes and putting them in the compression bag. And stick them in the bag. So I have seven dresses and a sarong in there and I still have plenty of room. Now just keep filling the bag with the rest of your clothes. I've got a workout top, workout shorts, two tank tops, a pair of shorts, a Turkish towel, a nightgown, and a robe. A good tip is to get yourself a really thin Turkish towel. These are great as scarves, as towels, as uh, blankets, maybe if you're cold on the plane, or just anything, a head covering. My brother had to use this when we were in Athens at the Parthenon because he was just so hot. Use it as a turban. So this is always a fun, not too heavy travel item, Turkish towel. With these compression bags, you have to seal the blue strip And then, there's some special way that the air escapes. All I know is you have to press down. They even suggest to roll the air out, which you can do. You want to get this as flat and as non-air filled as possible. I found this really cool travel on jewelry bag. Lots of little compartments. I only brought six pairs of earrings with me, but I knew that I would acquire more in my travels. So I have these as little pouches that you can travel with and then just put them in the little pouches. Once again, rolls up. A lot of rolling action. I know I'm a little late to the game with the travel cubes, but I found these and I really like them. You can separate what I'm putting in are my bathing suits, my bras, and then my underwear and pantyhose in another one. All my toiletries fit in this toiletry bag and then a see-through case for all my makeup. Don't forget to pack extra plastic bags so that you can put all of your shampoos and conditioners together and I made a mistake. One of my nail polish bottles broke inside and thankfully it was really well contained and didn't, didn't get over everything. All right. Here's the Red Ox, my favorite bag. Inside, it's very basic. It has three zippered areas. The main compartment, the second compartment, this little private zipper bag. Oh, and I forgot, there's one more zipper in the front. So, on the main, I've got my big compression bag. And now, I can put my toiletries, my makeup, my jewelry, strap that in. And around the sides, I'm going to put my shoes. I have one pair of high heels. I put two other pairs of sandals and those little cubes in the other compression bag and I flatten that down. I recommend if you are an exerciser and you like to run or bike or jog or whatever you want to do on vacation, get yourself some Vibrams. They are so easy to pack, easy to clean, and they don't weigh as much as sneakers. In this hidden compartment, I put all my electronics and chargers and batteries and cables and it just keeps everything well contained. All my little travel books are going to be placed inside the bag. Inside my travel on purse, I have my passport, my journal, one travel book, some money, a phone, and just a pair of sunglasses, a couple things that I need daily. Now, for travel, and especially on EasyJet in Europe, you're going to need to put this inside of your bag. So make sure you leave enough room. 
I recommend carrying a water bottle, refillable, so that during your journey you don't have to keep on buying $2 waters. Last, my computer. Small little notebook I need to upgrade, but for now, it'll do. Zip up. I have enough room in this other compartment for my purse. And there you go.